you know what? That would be brilliant if Palace can do it for us. I mean, uh, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, wicked. So yes. <laughs> The main thing we got to do is keep winning our games yeah. and keep playing the ball that we're playing and don't detract from that. Everyone wants the club to be, do you know what, leave on a high, but I don't think he's going to do it. Tough luck. Tragic, tragic. I thought it was always going to happen to be honest with you. I think they've been overperforming. <laughs> well, it was like 10 years ago, innit? Getting done by Crystal Palace last game of the season or like towards the end of the season. No, nah, I wouldn't say they bottled it, innit? They bottled it, but it is a massive result. Like, it's a massive loss for them. I like the fact that people are, are writing us off. We haven't got that, that, that hype that we're, you know, like, oh, we was top for how many, how many days and all of this, blah, blah, blah. So we can call them bottle jobs now. Mm. These are choking, these are choking. We're gonna, you know, the city's all day long and that's a, they're just stealing it. Title's done, title's done. You can't, Aston Villa, uh, sorry, Man City, I'm not gonna lose the title when they get in this position. They've got easy games, they're winning every game. Arsenal but flush their lines again. Just shows you, you know, everyone's lauding Arsenal saying, yeah, we've got a great defence, our midfield's this, is great, our, our um, fours are great, and we score the most goals and letting the less and less goals. Yeah, but these are games against Sheffield United, Burnley and West Ham. Shocking. Absolute shocking. Shit. Just shit. Poor defending, both goals was two mistakes. We didn't take chances and that's fucked us really. Was there even a title race? Like, okay. if it, I, I believe we could have done it, but now Man City are in front of us. They they ain't gonna drop points. Definitely one player. I don't want to say his name, but number 35. He pissed me off. Sorry for my language, but we had the first half. It was so great, but as soon as we came back out, it was like they they forgot how to play football. You get me? Yeah. <sighs> it's a minor setback. Okay. I think I'm, I'm. Yeah, I think we'll come second. You know, Bayern Munich ain't those teams and that's the Villainous teams. Look, how you beat us is easy. You get a centre forward who can work, who can um, back into our defenders, get on, get on, get on the shoulder. You'll beat us. You get, you get wingers who can who work, work those flanks. You'll beat us. Yeah, come on, the Villa! You, 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 you'll, you'll beat us, and obviously, and obviously, and that's what Villa did. It was an easy game for Villa. As much as, much as we've made them significant improvements, we're not Man City. Man City have still got. You know, two players for every position, especially yeah, yeah. especially in the midfield and especially up front. You know, if if Grealish gets injured, they got Doku. Yeah, you yeah. know, the same with um, if De Bruyne gets injured and he doesn't play well, Foden plays well. They still got the best squad in the league. And yeah. you know, the fact is, whilst um, Liverpool, everyone's talking about us in um, Liverpool, Man City was still in their coattails. Let's face it, these players do not know how to win big games. They know how to win non-pressure games. When the pressure's on, it hasn't changed since. Um, last members of Wenger days. Put the pressure on Arsenal, we fight Flander. So would you ask to go from here? You've got Bayern Munich. We're not winning that game. We're not winning that game. Bayern Munich are, are, are the hot favourites and they'll finish the job over Munich. So if Arsenal don't win on Wednesday, where does that leave you guys for the rest of the season? It will leave us, us playing for second place. With Liverpool, we're not winning anything. Trust me about the games today, what's your reaction? Uh, it's a tough one, really. Yeah. Uh, didn't play great. Didn't really deserve to win. Yeah. Uh, Villa, you know, but, yeah. Cool. So if Arsenal don't win a trophy and it's another, another trophyless season, is it a failed season for you guys? <laughs> yeah, I think so. We're, we're at a stage now in the club where we should be winning trophies. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it is. And you don't win anything. Who's to blame? Someone has to take the brunt of it, whether that's Arteta, whether that's the players, the board, who is to blame? I think everyone, to be fair. I don't think there'd be one person in particular. I think everyone. So do you start asking questions on Arteta? Like, it's been, how many seasons has it been now? Bottled it last year, fourth the season before. You guys should be going for trophies. And it always happens at this stage of the season. Always this stage, same, same last year. Is it a lack of experience, a lack of spine? What, what is it with the Arsenal team? Uh, I mean, for me, I, I back Arteta, yeah. 100%. Um, so what is it that always goes wrong at this point of the season? I think we're, we're a young team, we're getting stronger. And as disappointing as it is, I still, I still back us to do well this season. Disappointing, really. What happened? I don't know, just, um, just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. Trash had that chance in the first half, but just couldn't get it in. If Arsenal go another season trophyless, is it a failed season? Um, no, just a progression in the Champions League, um, but 
seriously need to try and win it next, year, next season, but hopefully City slip up, but I can't see it. So if you guys don't win anything, do you question Arteta's position? No. No, still in the process. How long does this process take? Because it's been a long time. I just want to mention, same point last season, you guys bottled it. Season before, came fourth. Where do you draw the line with this? Um, basically just got to try and win next season. Yeah. Um, hopefully we beat Bayern on when, uh, Wednesday. Honestly, do you think that's a realistic chance? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Why do you yeah. say that? Because they're not doing so well at home themselves. So, same, both teams not doing well at home. And I reckon we could go there and do something. Some of the substitutions Arteta made, I thought he was thinking about Wednesday, like bringing all the guards off. Okay. And now, as a team that's going for the Premier League, are you, do you really have to take, think about the game, the next game? We have to go game by game because them, them subs potentially cost you the league. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to ask you about Arteta. Yeah, I, I do, do think he was concentrating on Wednesday's game as well, especially with bringing Odegaard off. I wouldn't have done that myself.